Hello, everybody. How's it going? I know it's been quite a while since one of us has sat down in front of the camera here and we've actually posted a video. It's for very good reason. We've been extremely busy lately with classes and uh, just haven't had enough time to go out there and make any videos for you guys. But we want to come back. Don't worry. We'll be back in probably a couple weeks here. Um, we'll be back to our normal posting schedule. But just for the time being, bear with us. It's going to be a little sparse. Final exam season is right around the corner for us. So once that blows over, we'll get back to our normal posting schedule. And we've got some pretty big things planned, a little bit COVID depending, but we do have some big things planned for you guys that I think are going to be quite exciting. Anyways, for today's video, we wanted to do something a little bit different. This is an idea that we've had for quite a while now. We wanted to do eight solid minutes of useless photography and filmmaking information. Now, I don't know how useless this is gonna be. You guys might actually learn something, but we got this idea originally from Austin McConnell. He did 15 minutes of just useless information. And we thought we could do the same thing and just kind of adapt it to the filmmaking and photography realm. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I think it should be pretty fun. And uh, let's get into it. The most viewed photograph in history is Windows Bliss. The 13th word in the terms of use for Adobe Premiere Pro CC effective as of March 16th, 2020 is resolution. The first photo of a person was actually accidental. He can be seen in the bottom right corner it is believed he was getting his shoes cleaned, which is why he was still long enough for this photograph to be taken. Each end of a panorama are captured at different points in time. Jim Jannard, the founder of Oakley's Sunglasses, also founded Red Digital Cinema. That small piece of rubber on a Canon camera strap is actually used to cover the eyepiece when doing long exposure photography to prevent light leaks. The first mirrorless camera was the Lumix DMC G1, and it cost $799. It shot 12 megapixel photos, which is actually the same as the Sony A7S Mark III. Sigma lens caps are manufactured in Japan. The word long exposure in Romanian translates to Exponere îndelungată. The first digital camera took 0.01 megapixel photos and recorded them to a cassette tape. A single exposure took 23 seconds and the whole camera weighed eight pounds. The first iPhone to have a camera on it was the iPhone 3G with a whopping 3.0 megapixel sensor. And the iPhone 4 was the first iPhone to have a front facing camera. If you shift click the clip name in the effects control panel in Adobe After Effects, it will make a sheep sound. <laughs> also, if you hold the Alt key, then click and hold on the Help tab, then slide your cursor down to About After Effects, then Release, it will open a secret project. The battery for a GoPro Hero 7 is precisely 1,220 milliamp hours. In 1945, Kodak accidentally discovered the US government's top secret test of the first atomic bomb using their film stock. If you see this symbol on a digital camera, it represents the location of the sensor. Sony, the world leader in mirrorless camera manufacturing, owns the rights to Spider-Man. Apple released the first consumer digital camera in 1994. It was called the Quick Take 100. The consumer drone manufacturer DJI owns a majority stake in the Swedish camera company Hasselblad. The most expensive lens on the B&H website is the Fujinon 14.5 to 45 mm T 2.0 Premier PL zoom lens with a price of 99,000 US dollars. Peter Jackson used 30 Red Epic cameras to film The Hobbit. This end of the cable that connects to most external hard drives is called a micro B mail connection. The B and the H for the popular camera store B&H Photo Video stands for Bleamy and Herman. There are more than 95 million photos uploaded to Instagram every single day. The instant camera brand Polaroid declared bankruptcy in 2001. 
There are exactly 12 Hasselblad cameras on the surface of the moon. They were left behind in order to make room to bring home more moon rocks. In 1956, the first hard drive to ever be sold commercially was invented by IBM. The most expensive photograph ever sold at auction was Rain 2, taken in 1999 by Andreas Gursky. It sold at auction for $4,338,500. According to the user photo underscore Smith on the Rangefinder forum, in 1989, Fuji HR 200 24 exposure film cost 2.99 British pounds. The famous photographer Ansel Adams was born on February 20th, 1902 in San Francisco, California. The bottom side of a Fuji X-T2 mirrorless camera is held on using M1.6 by 0.35 by 4 millimeter Phillips countersunk screws. On a film set, the term check the gate means to check over the most recent shot. Traditionally, the gate is the window on the camera body where light from the lens passes through to expose the film. Back in the day, while the film is mechanically cycling through the camera, it is possible to get an impurity stuck in the gate. So after you successfully have taken a shot, you check the gate to confirm the gate was clear from obstruction. Also on a film set, a dead battery is called a cold brick, while a charged battery is called a hot brick. Manhattan Henge is a phenomenon where the setting or rising sun is aligned with the east to west streets of the main street grid of Manhattan in New York City. The sunset alignment occurs around May 28th and July 13th, and the sunrise alignment occurs around December 5th and January 8th. A slang term for a tripod is a stick. Moraine Lake, located in Alberta, Canada, is the most photographed lake in the world. While also in Canada, Niagara Falls in Ontario is the most photographed waterfall in the world. In 2007, 65% of Canon's revenue came from selling office supplies such as printers, copiers, and scanners rather than cameras. The symbol for the burn tool in Photoshop looks like a hand. This is because in analog film developing, the print technician would use their hand to cover parts of the photo as it was being developed in the darkroom to either brighten or darken parts of the photo. The owners of the tripod brand Manfrotto can be seen in episode 103 of Casey Neistat's vlog, which was uploaded on July 5th, 2016 at the 1 minute and 25 second mark. Hi. Okay, it's great to meet you guys. That's the Manfrotto family. They come over to me and they're like, do you use a Manfrotto tripod? On a film set, a clothespin is referred to as a C-47. Now, the origin of this is not exactly known. Some say it came from the C-47 airplane because of its versatility, and others think it just refers to the bin where they are usually kept. The hex code of the default blue used to show the selected tool in Adobe Premiere Pro CC is hashtag 2D8CEB. Adobe Photoshop was initially released on February 19th, 1990. The first photo booth was created in New York City in 1925. The second most expensive piece of Star Wars memorabilia sold at auction was the Panavision PSR 200 35mm film camera that was used by George Lucas to record the first Star Wars. It sold for $625,000. Only 29 of those cameras were ever made. Anyways, that was eight minutes of useless photography and filmmaking information. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you guys learned something because I know I sure did when writing this script. But before I let you guys go, I got to tell you about the sponsor for this week's video, Skillshare. I'm sure you've had similar experiences to me where you're trying to learn something new. So you scour every corner of the Internet just to find one piece of relevant information. As a Skillshare member, you're able to take hundreds of different classes over a whole range of different topics without having to pay for each one. So I can go and take a class about editing and really dive into that one, but in the same day, I can learn how to play the guitar. It's incredible. Skillshare is also affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The annual subscription to Skillshare is less than $10 per month. 
On Skillshare right now, a class that I've actually watched multiple times to improve my drone flying abilities is Introduction to Aerial Videography by Wild Rabbit Productions. If you're trying to get into drones, this is a perfect place to start. Like I mentioned before, there are hundreds of different classes over a whole range of different topics. So whatever you're into, whether it's music, if it's cooking, if it's art, there's a class for you on Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to click the link in our description will get themselves 30% off an annual premium membership so they can explore their creativity. Even if you've already had a trial of Skillshare in the past, you can still take advantage of this offer to get yourself a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. We highly recommend it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for this week's video. If you're new here, make sure you go and follow us on Instagram up there at TMS Productions underscore. Also, make sure you go check out our LUTs and presets. They're gonna be linked down below. Also, I, there's no also. So I will see you guys when we see you guys next video. The thirteenth word for the thirteenth word in the the thirteenth word in the Adobe. Oh fuck. The thirteenth.